Hey, Earth Signs. So let's see what messages we have. This is for April the 23rd, 2019. What messages of guidance do we have? The Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 23rd, 2019. What messages or guidance do we have? The Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April 23rd, 2019. It's, it's Taurus season. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Ah, I got a surprise for y'all later. Can't be today. I ain't gonna do it today, but I got a surprise for y'all later. So just stay tuned. Um, around Thursday, got a little something for you. <laughs> Let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So I'm gonna ride with these. This is not just for my earth signs to so cross swap, just don't get all in your feelings. It's for everybody, but it's in honor of Taurus season because it's my birthday month. Well, coming up May. All right, let's see what messages we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Vir Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 23rd, 2019. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Woo, Tyler, Six of Cups. Could be dealing with something, someone from the past. Someone could be coming in to offer you an apology. Could be doing some research here. Um, could be looking into some things. Whoo, Tower, Queen of Cups, Four of Cups. Somebody not happy. Page of Cups here, Ace of Swords. So you could be speaking your truth. Somebody ain't happy here. There could have been some type of, of shit storm <laughs> that hit. Uh, over the weekend, I'm guessing. Towers now. So something now, truth now, clarity now. Someone's doing a little bit of research. Maybe you need to speak the truth in case somebody is doing some research so that you, you know, can be on the up and up so you can be ahead of the curve. Let's see what the fuck going on here. Excuse my language, but let's see what the fuck going on. Tower here. Why is this tower card here? First card out. I just need to know. Why is this tower card here? Why is this tower card here? Hierophant, Queen of Cups, Four of Cups. So someone's not happy about a relationship in suspension here. Um, I got the Queen of Cups and the Empress here, which is... Hmm. So this could be a marriage that someone's invested a lot of time into. If not a marriage, it's something that's looked at as a marriage, something that's traditional. Um, could be a relationship that seems to be marriage. Seems to be marriage. Somebody could be waiting or wanting... I did the air sign reading. Somebody wants a commitment. So somebody may be wanting a commitment from you. You could be realizing here, I got Taurus twice. Taurus, y'all was in the air sign read. Taurus twice here, maybe in suspension, not happy here about something not coming closer together or somebody's in suspension and not happy. Somebody's in suspension and you're not happy because something's not coming together. So you may speak your goddamn truth. Queen of Cups, you may take your cup back. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles, Emperor, yes. Yeah. So you could be gaining your independence or someone else has gained their independence, set boundaries to an emotional connection. Now, for some of you guys, this is either you are married or someone that you're dealing with is married and they set boundaries within the situation, boundaries within emotional, because this is something that's already here. Ten of Cups here. Ten of Cups is already a relationship, something that already has emotional fulfillment. Now, some of you guys could be in love with an Aries here. You could be gaining your independence, taking your cup from a situation that was already evident. From the 10, there's nothing else. So it goes back to one. You could be offering something new, sun card here, to an Aries, uh, to a fire sign. Could be setting some boundaries. Could be taking action on someone that is single, someone that you love. Um, shit now. Some of you guys are in a relationship with a water sign. You're in an unhappy relationship with a water sign and you're in suspension. You realize in order to be happy, you got to have some sort of tower moment. You got to speak your truth. I'm going to say you got to speak your truth. We don't say a tower moment, but there's a tower here. First card out. Four of cups here. Why is the four of cups here? Somebody's not happy. There's some tears that are being shed here. The tears are hidden. So the vision is hidden. The tears are evident, but the vision is hidden. So someone could be crying because they don't see the bigger picture. 
They could need to balance their emotions and see clearly. So someone's not there. I got clarity here. Someone is crying over their anxiety. They may have a new opportunity. You may have a new opportunity, but maybe not opening yourself up emotionally to it. Like I'm telling you, there is some tears, but um, dare I say crocodile tears. There could be some crocodile tears. Somebody could just have anxiety about really balancing their emotions and going toward happiness. So the waterworks start. Why is this page of cups here? Why is this page of cups here? Why is this page of cups here? Page of Pentacles, page of cups, page of wands. This is a lot of page. It's crocodile tears. You need to get truth to this. I hope people know what I'm talking about when I say crocodile tears. That's a. I don't know if it's worldwide, but I know in the South when somebody is crying fake tears, you know, they're just putting on a show, they say you're, you're crying crocodile tears because crocodiles don't fucking cry. I don't think they in the water. I ain't never fucking seen a crocodile crying. I don't know, but this seems like somebody's putting on a show and you may be realizing this and it does not make you happy. You may feel like you're stuck in this situation, like you're just in suspension. Ace of Swords here. Why is this Ace of Swords here? So you could be dealing with someone that, because listen, I got all the pages here. I got all the pages here. Nope. Don't have the page of swords. I don't have the fucking truth. Where is the truth? The truth gonna come out. Mm. Let me not write that because the ace of swords, the truth gonna come out. Somebody gonna speak truth. Why is this ace of swords here? And I don't have no page, so they gonna speak nothing. That's the sort of truth. They gonna speak nothing but the truth. Why is this ace of swords here? Why is this ace of swords here? Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to speak the truth. They're going to resist those crocodile motherfucking tears. Stand up for themselves. Someone's seeing truth in the situation. So somebody crying crocodile tears because either they've been caught. Tower here. Someone may be setting up boundaries to a situation, gaining their independence, breaking the fuck free. Y'all could be dealing with that air sign. Check out that air sign read. That's all I'm saying. Somebody crying crocodile tears. Y'all need to investigate. And I don't think, I think you've done your investigations like you know what's going on. So some of you guys are just, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to resist even going back and forth with you because I know you're full of shit. All right. Let's see what messages we have. This is for my earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Something like this. Now, that could be what's going on. It could also be someone speaking truth about them not being happy. Um... And I really believe they're still crying crocodile tears because for me to get all those pages, those are very young energies. Um, and you may know that, or even you're dealing with someone young that may be not, that may be manipulative. And you may be aware of that. So, or you may be manipulative and they may be aware of that. So what messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Some will rise in the messages for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. In depth and magic. So someone's magic no longer holds an effect on you. Okay, then. Wisdom, yep. No longer affecting you. Woo, doggy. I don't know why I've been saying that all morning, but it's been my word. Yeah, you know I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> You've mastered this situation. You've mastered this situation. This situation here their um tears their crocodile tears are no longer affecting you some of you guys are overcoming the bullshit you realize that somebody has been very manipulative y'all know i can't talk because i'm too many syllables close together but somebody's been manipulative making you know magic with their emotions you're done with that or they done with you this is all i got y'all peace